Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question, is it worth being a loan officer in 2022? So as you guys may or may not know, right now the industry is going through dramatic change. Things are not going to be how they were before. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over six considerations, six things to consider if you wanna come into the industry or you're coming into the industry in 2022 and you want to be a successful loan officer this year and the years to come. So make sure you stay till the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one consideration is that thousands and thousands of loan officers were laid off in the past couple of months actually. Why is that? Because when rates were low, all these companies right here, what they did is they just you know took advantage of the refi business. They hired thousands of loan officers, got thousands of underwriters, processors, and did tons of refis. But now that the rates have doubled, now that they've increased, they can't do any refis. So what are they gonna do with all those people? They have to let them go, and that's what's been happening. If you check out these articles right here, you can see that thousands and thousands of loan officers have been laid off. What does that mean for you coming into the industry? That means that you're gonna have a lot of competition. Whether or not that's good or bad doesn't matter, but the point is you're gonna be competing with way, way more loan officers because thousands of them were laid off and they're either gonna go get another job or they're gonna become a loan officer here in this industry. Chances are they're gonna come into this industry and let's say they do. That means we're gonna have way more loan officers, way more competition. So what you need to do is you need to find more ways to stand out. You need to make sure that you're on your A game. And that's why I make these videos for you guys because you always need to be on your A game if you want to survive in tough economies or tough situations. That's why I'm always stressing that. Hey, be on your A game. So right now what's gonna happen is thousands of loan officers are gonna come into the industry, you're gonna have tons of competition. That means you need to stand out. That means you need to be your best self, your best loan officer. If not, all these other loan officers are gonna get your business, are gonna get that business. So that's number one consideration is that thousands of loan officers are coming into the industry at this moment. Number two consideration is that low rates are gone. They're not here anymore. Are those super low rates you saw on TV, on commercials, on the radio, they're not here anymore. What does that mean? There's no more refi business. And if there is refi business, it's very unique, special refi business. Refi business is always gonna happen, by the way, but not as much as it's been happening the past couple months, the past couple years. And a lot of people came into the industry because of that. They saw their friends doing refis, there was refis everywhere, so they're like, hey, that seems easy, I'm gonna become a loan officer. But now that all those refis are gone and they're not coming back anytime soon, what does that mean for you? Well. That means you're not gonna be able to do refis. It's not gonna be easy business. You're gonna to have to transition or learn how to create a purchase business, which we'll talk about in a couple seconds. And by the way, your business should not be dependent on refis. All those people that came into the industry doing refi business and relying on refi business, you guys are seeing what's going on with them. You know, we just talked about those companies laying off thousands of loan officers. That's gonna happen to you or that could happen to you if you build your business on just refis because refis are cyclical. Rates are never gonna always be at their lowest. They're gonna go up and down. So you need to build your business on purchases, not refis, and refis are nowhere here anymore. Which brings us to the third consideration, which is it's going to be a purchase market mostly from here on out. From here on out, it's mostly gonna be a purchase market. So you need to be willing to work with first time home buyers or simply real estate buyers. You're not gonna work so much with refis. You're gonna be working with purchases. So that means you gotta beef up your purchase game. What does that mean? Hey, do more educational workshops. And I made videos on how to be a purchase loan officer. I'll put it here or there. So make sure you check those out because it's going to be a purchase market for the next couple months, the next couple years. Because that freak occurrence of super low rates is a once in a lifetime thing. It doesn't always happen. So if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. Now we're going into purchases. So you need to focus mainly on purchases, build your business on that, whatever that means to you. Like I said, I got videos on that, but know that it's going to be a purchase market from here on out and you should build your business as a purchase business, not so much refis. Number four consideration is that because it's going to be a purchase business, you're going to need to work with more real estate agent partners. So if you don't like working with real estate agent partners, it's gonna be very tough because they provide the most and the best 
purchase leads because they're always out in the field. They're selling real estate. They're at open houses. They're here. They're there. They're doing the events, all that stuff. So they're getting all those eyeballs and they're getting all those leads prospects. So for you to succeed in a purchase market, you're going to need to work with great realtors. You're going to need to work with realtors. You know, whether or not they're great, you know, that's something else, but you need to work with them. At least one, at least two, you got to work with a couple of them. Whether or not they're top producers is irrelevant, but you need to work with realtors. And I made two videos, make sure you check that one out and you check that one out so you know how to work with more realtors. Because like I said, it's going to be a purchase market and if it's a purchase market, you're going to need and want purchase leads. How do you get those? You get those from real estate agent partners. Yes, you can get them yourself, but I'm telling you, that's what I tried when I just started in this business. I was like, hey, I'm not gonna rely on realtors. I'm not gonna work with realtors. I'm not gonna work with them, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't get any deals. Now that I'm working with more real estate agent partners, I'm getting more leads, I'm getting more deals. So make sure that you're working with real estate agent partners and you check out those videos. Number five consideration is that if you can make it in this economy, then you can make it in any economy. So right now, like I said in the beginning of this video, we have super high rates or higher rates compared to what they were a couple months ago and we have super low inventory. That's not good. High rates, low inventory, that's not a great recipe. So that's what's going on right now. And if you guys can survive this economy, this situation, then the next couple months, the next couple years in your business are gonna be easy because you're gonna be used to, hey, I'm used to no inventory and high rates. So if you guys can survive this, know that, hey, the future is going to be easier. Can it be worse 20, 30 years from now? Can something crazy happen again? probably, but not for a couple more years. So if you guys can withstand what's going on right now, promise you, you're going to become a great loan off. If you could take all this pressure right now, then you will come out on the other side as a diamond. So take that into consideration and acknowledge that yes, things are tough, but if you can hang through it, then you will be a great loan officer because things aren't always gonna be crazy. Things aren't always gonna be super tough. For the most part, the economy is an okay economy. It has those greats and has those bads, but for the most part, it's gonna be an okay economy. And if you can withstand and pull through the tough times, for sure you will be able to come across and get through during the great times and the okay times. Number six consideration is that you need to treat this as a career. Whether or not you're part-time or full-time is irrelevant. It just means you need to treat this thing seriously as a career. You need to commit all that you can commit and if you can, commit a bit more. Why is that? Because of all the things that we just talked about. You know, you want to stand out. You want to succeed in this business. You want to be up there. You want to be great. But the only way to do that is if you treat this as a career. This way you can come out on top, get that business despite the tough times, despite the low inventory, despite the higher rates, despite all those things, despite the competition, blah, blah, blah. You need to take this thing seriously, treat it as a career. It's no longer gonna be like those moments a couple years ago where you could treat this as a side hustle and get business every now and then. Could you do that? Yes, you can, but you're probably gonna get very few deals. So come in, treat this as a career, and I promise you, you will get the most out of it and you won't struggle during those tough economies. And again, it doesn't really matter if you come in full-time or part-time, however many hours you put into this thing. What matters is that you take it seriously and you commit 100%. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Make sure you comment down below what you guys thought. Like this video and subscribe for more just like it. It really helps the channel when you guys do that because it helps the channel grow. And when the channel grows, it can help more people. I make content on life improvement, real estate, and entrepreneurship. So subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks again so much for your time. See you in the next video and be great.